This is Living Healthy with the Woman in You, the show with the information on health that you need to know from people you can trust. Hi, welcome to Living Healthy. I'm your host, Jackie Bell. Today our topic is the future of health, and we'll be talking about the many ways the way we look at health is changing as patients, providers, as a nation, and around the world. We'll have two guests tonight. First, we'll have licensed esthetician and owner of Jacqueline's Advanced Skin Therapy in New Bedford, Jacqueline Bonfiglio Naja, who is also owner of The Woman in You and the executive producer of Living Healthy. Then we'll be talking to certified health navigator and coach Cheryl Worthington Turgeon, owner of Your Health Potential. Welcome, Jackie. Thank you for joining us today. No, it's not. I'm very excited to be here today because it's the beginning of our third season. So I'm yeah. very excited. It's very exciting to be yeah. able to have the opportunity to be able to be the executive producer of Living Healthy for the past three years. And you know, behind the scenes, you know, we have Paul Turgeon and we have Stephen Nager. So they're the ones that make this all happen for us for Living Healthy. So we have to give them a round of applause too. Yay. And um. So let's start out by talking about the Women in You, what that organization is that you created and why you created it. Good question. A lot of people have always asked me about, so what is the Women in You? So I'll have this brief moment to share what is the Women in You. The Women in You was really a vision. And over the past 30 years, um, I've met some amazing um, practitioners. And we're kind of like all just in here, there, and everywhere. And so wouldn't it be great if we were able to have an opportunity to have a listing for all the local um, complementary health choice practitioners. So that's how it, real, it really started. And then came Living Healthy, and then I met Paul, and then I met Cheryl, <laughs> and here we are today, you know, three seasons later, um, producing the program. And the Women in You, um, we just don't have a directory listing. We also provide education seminars for the community, maybe free or a small fee um, to provide the education for the community because sometimes we hear information on a national level and people say so where can we find this here in the community so that's how it all started very local um, very in the grassroots of the community and we started taping here in Wareham and now there's 14 local cable channels that ear the program so that is very exciting so what do you have planned for 2012 for the women in you the Women in You, first of all, we'll have um, Natural Health Choices. Um, that is an exhibitor event, like you said, where the um, community has an opportunity um, to meet the practitioners. Um, and, you know, there the really is a new movement in health. It, that was a huge success last year. Yes, it, it was, was a, really huge a huge success. success. I mean, we outgrew the space yeah. in the blink, you know, and it really t tells us that you know, people are really searching for this type of information. Right. And I really do believe there's a new movement um, where people are looking for information to take more responsibility on their own health. Mm -hmm. So do you plan, you have a, an event planned in February and then have you decided on what else you'll be doing? Because it seems like usually you do something in the fall as well. Right now, right now we're just focusing in, in February of this event um, and we do have other upcoming educational seminars coming up and that information can be always found on our website thewomeninyou.info. Great, awesome. So um, actually the Living Healthy, this TV show is a big project as well that the Women in You sponsors so that's going to be correct. taking up quite a few months of your time. Yes it does. Coming up mm -hmm. now and what do you have planned for 2012 for Living Healthy? For 2012, we'll do a little bit, small, some changes. Um, definitely the changes that we're hearing. I do believe that Living Healthy is current on um, all the upcoming issues of health. And this year, we do have a series of nutrition, which will be our guest coming up, Shovel Worth the Turgeon. That's great. And um, Living Healthy started by just airing here in Wareham, actually really started in New Bedford, but here in Wareham, and now you're in how many different cable stations across Massachusetts? We are in 14 um, local cable access channels. Great. 
So we're going to be talking with uh, Cheryl Worthington Turgeon about her upcoming shows and her take on nutrition and what's happening in the field of nutrition. It's going to be really good. That's great. And I really feel that was an important piece to share um, information because that's one thing people can do for themselves is take responsibility of on nutrition. Yeah. And I think there's, there's a lot of mixed messages um, regarding nutrition. So I think this will be a very important series um, that will be February, March, and April on Living Healthy. And Cheryl will be our next guest and she'll tell everybody all about it. Great. Well, thank you so much for giving us an insight into the woman in you. Thank you so much. And we'll be right back with Cheryl Worthington Turgeon. If you'd like more information on Jacqueline's Bonfiglio Nadja, please visit the woman in you info and you can also contact her directly at 508-999-5167. We'll be right back. You're watching Living Healthy with the Woman in You, now in its third season. For more information on Living Healthy and the Woman in You, please visit our website at www.thewomaninyou.info. Now back to our program. Hi, welcome back to Living Healthy. We're back with Cheryl Worthington Turgeon of Your Health Potential. Cheryl will be hosting some of the upcoming Living Healthy programs based on nutrition. Today she's here as a guest to share her views on what's happening in the field of health and nutrition. Welcome Cheryl. Hi Jackie, it's great to be here. Yes, you're always our first guest at the beginning of a season, <laughs> so welcome to 2012. Well, thank you. So. Let's talk about what's happening in the nutrition world this day, these days. With, you know, nutrition has come a long way in the past 10 years. It really has. And, you know, fortunately, um, I, be I think that we have a trend moving forward where people are becoming much more aware of nutrition. It started with Michelle Obama having the vegetable garden in the White House and her focus on getting better nutrition in the schools. And I think we've really moved on from that to um, more awareness of what's in our food. Science has shown us that um, what you eat really affects how you feel. What you eat changes your genes and actually turns on and off different genes so that chronic conditions can arise or not depending on the nutrition that you have. Mm -hmm. You know, so people are really um, enjoying nutrition and wanting to learn more about how to take care of their own health, I think, too. Yeah, and, and I think that people in the grocery store are starting to read labels more and really, you know, looking for the hormone-free meats and dairies and that's become very popular in the nutrition uh, I mean in the in the meat departments we have a whole aisles of well, natural that's food. true and you know I think consumers are really driving that change right they're looking for pesticide free hormone free antibiotic free and you know I can remember just a couple of years ago where you'd find just a little section in an aisle that had organic food and now you can go in and see an entire organic section, yeah. let alone in the produce department. You can right. find organic vegetables now. Locally so grown is very important too. So it we're really more of that. is. Yeah. And um, you know we're driving it, which is fantastic. Right. So people are starting to take more responsibility for their health. How, how have we seen changes in the healthcare system? Well, you know, I think another movement that's happening is with people like Dr. Mark Hyman, who wrote Ultra Prevention and, um, let's see, the um, Ultra Mind Solution. And what he's really advocated is integrative medicine, which looks at the body as a system. And I know that. Um, you're well aware of this by doing thermography because mm -hmm. I know that's what you do. But it's really, rather than looking at the body as the sum of its parts, we look at the whole system and they're seeing drugs as really just more of a band-aid effect rather than the solution to the problem. 
Right. You know, so the chronic conditions are being treated with lifestyle changes. Everything from nutrition to exercise to meditation um, to sleep to supplements. That's really what can shift a person's well-being. It seems like people are much more willing to maybe take a few supplements and make a shift in their diet than they are to just uh, go on a drug right away because of side mm -hmm. effects and being you know, dependent on a drug or the drug really not fixing the problem, fixing the symptom like you're saying. Well, that and I think you know, all drugs have side effects. And I know seeing my clients, they come to me saying, I don't want to be put on another drug. What can we do naturally? Mm -hmm. And that's where we're, we can really get busy on nutrition and lifestyle changes that will have a powerful impact. Right. I have a client, she had, a, she had serious, serious migraines and they were reduced dramatically because uh, she was eating foods that were rich in taurine and she didn't know it, like raisins or I can't remember what the food was, but oh, that really yeah. made a difference. It just, it was so simple to make a, a shift in her diet that way. It's not like she had to have an avocado smoothie for breakfast. It was <laughs> something that she was eating too much of that was triggering the, her neurological system and the migraines. Sure. In fact, part of what I do, as you know, is um, food sensitivity testing. And just getting some of those offending foods out, those that lead to inflammation, mm -hmm. can really turn around so, so many symptoms, you know, everything from rashes to migraines to um, irritable bowel symptoms. Right, right. So, um, well, you're going to be focusing uh, your, you're going to do three programs of Living Healthy, and you're going to be focusing on nutrition. Tell us what you're going to be doing with this food series. Well, I'm really excited about this. I think we'll start with... Um, a local farmer, Derek Christensen from Bricks Bounty Farm. And what he's going to be talking about is really focusing on the nutrients in the soil, which then, of course, feed the vegetables that he grows. And I can tell you from experience, they're absolutely delicious. But it's a sustainable method of growing vegetables. What does sustainable mean? Basically, what he's doing is he's rotating crops. He is... To, to enrich the soil. Exactly. Right. Um, you know, it's really looking at farming from the perspective of what happens naturally and how can we mimic that mm -hmm. in order to create the conditions where our crops flourish. And once we do that, we're eating crops that are so nutrient rich that our bodies flourish. Right. right. So I'm really excited to have him on the show. Who else are you going to interview? We also have Dr. Kim Bella, who is a psychotherapist and raw food, life, live food advocate. She's taught many classes on the benefits of raw foods. And you know, the important thing there is the enzymes that we can get from the raw foods that really help to replenish our enzymes, which um, tend to be depleted as we age. So not only are we replenishing enzymes, but they're helping our metabolic processes and our digestive system to function better. And she, I know she's going to include some tips on easy ways to add some raw foods into your diet. Things like making almond milk, for example. Yeah. So, wow. It should be fun. Okay. And then um, you're going to talk about alkalized water as well. Yes, we are. And we have um, someone local, Laura Brokel, from Down to Earth Natural Foods here in New Bedford. And she will be talking about fresh, pure water and alkalized water and what effects that has on your body. And What is that alkalized water? Well, basically, it's relating to the pH balance in our bodies. And um, the more alkalinity we have, really, the more our um, internal terrain flourishes. So 
you know, that also happens in terms of vegetables that we eat versus eating sugar or red meat. Well, the water that we drink also has that impact. And I'll let Laura fill everyone in on the variety of benefits that you get. So from the that. opposite of alkalinity would be acidity, acidity, which we find when people have chronic disease, they tend to be very acid. It in yeah. internally, it leads to inflammation. And exactly. it's very difficult for the cells to function correctly. That's right. And that also is something that tends to happen more with age. Mm -hmm. So, um, I mean, one benefit right off the bat is going to be a more youthful appearance, better hydration, you know, that kind of thing through right. alkalized water. Why don't you give us, uh, talk a little bit about the 10 health tips that you have, the nutritional health tips that we can start doing today to improve our health. Oh, sure. Well, of course, the first one is going to be eating whole, fresh foods. And basically, anything that comes in a box is going to be benefiting the manufacturer in terms of shelf life a lot more than it is benefiting you in terms of your life. Secondly, we really need to drink water, pure, fresh water, six to eight glasses a day. And that helps us to absorb our nutrients hydrate our skin and our cells and um, you know flush, it, it flush out toxins yeah yeah, yeah exactly Keep everything moving and um, I guess because you've done so much on uh, sugar blues oh, avoiding yeah. sugar <laughs> <laughs> I can't help but say you need to really avoid sugar and not just sugar but also any artificial sweeteners like aspartame and of course high fructose corn syrup and what would if you if you're going to use a sweetener what would you recommend i would say probably stevia mm -hmm. is the most benign yeah. sweetener and a lot of people are turning to agave well agave i'm a little hesitant about there's been some controversy over that and the reason for that is that there's more fructose in it so, um, so we just need to be careful with the amount that we eat yeah. that, okay? Yeah. And then what about coffee? Well, you know, I suggest people really make a switch to green tea just because it is high in antioxidants and it doesn't give you that blood sugar spike that coffee does. And I think too people don't realize that there are so many different types of green tea. It's like a whole oh, world. Yeah of tea. Yeah, that's true. So yeah. try something until you really find something yeah. you love. You know? Great. Well, that gives you an idea, gives us an yeah. idea of uh, what we can find on your website uh, concerning these 10 health tips. Cheryl, is there anything else that you'd like to leave us with? Any last thoughts about the change in nutrition and the trend in nutrition? Well, you know, I think that um, there really is a shift in consciousness about our food. And I've seen that recently. You know, when I went to school at the Institute for Integrative Nutrition in New York, and that was in 2007, there were two classes. And one was 1,000 students, the other was 800. Now the school has shifted to an online course and there are over 20,000 students, wow. both in the U.S. and abroad. And, you know, recently I was at a Connecting for Change conference. I had three students come up and talk to me at that conference, <laughs> which just shows me how many people are interested in the Whole Foods movement. And, and would you say that these people were young or older? Yeah, or? actually it was a mix. Um, there are, I would say, a certain number of women that are middle-aged looking to change careers, mm -hmm. and, like me, <laughs> and there are young women that are just starting out and just so excited about the Whole Foods movement and, you know, going into a variety of careers. But yeah, so I think that we'll be able to expect to see more books written, more interesting, creative ways to bring healthy nutrition into our homes, uh, teach it to our children, and create great lifestyles based on eating naturally. Well, I do too, and I think that we've been surrounded by so much advertising 
for um, foods that are not necessarily so healthy, more right. of the processed foods, mm -hmm. that as more and more people catch on to the whole foods movement, we've got a variety of media that are really going to spread that message yeah. and counteract some of that. I think too that people are going to start feeling so much better, you know, eating well and realizing how easy it is and how we support local economies by doing it, that it'll, it'll actually be a whole trend in our national economy starting small like that and, and Oh, I agree. It's farmers. really, it's an upward spiral. You know, yeah. as I talk to my clients about, you know, when you feel a chronic condition, it, that sort of spirals you downward. But when you start eating well, and I know you know this, yeah. you start to feel better, you start to think better, you start to get ideas of new things that you want to do. So think about a whole community or across the country, right. people that have been maybe apathetic and feeling that normal is feeling so-so. Right. And then suddenly, they start to really feel great. They have energy and they have vitality and they have ideas mm -hmm. and what that can do for us as a population in 2012. Right. <laughs> I think that's going to be fantastic. Yeah. Great. Jackie, you've been doing this program for three years now. I'd really be interested in knowing what changes you've seen and what changes you expect to see in terms of our health and nutrition and well-being. Yeah, I think in the in the health care system in the healthcare world, we're going to see more of what we talked about, which is people taking responsibility for their own health. I think that the trend in medicine is that people don't want to go directly to a drug to treat a symptom, but they want to see if there's something that they can do on their own and are much more willing to take a supplement to to visit with a doctor of integrative medicine, a, a naturopathic physician of some sort, mm -hmm. see if there's some herbs they can take and, or natural supplements, maybe do some different kinds of testing and also applying nutritional principles. And this trend, I think we're going to actually see more in hospital settings. Uh, we see that definitely post-surgically, and we're also going to see it in uh, hospital wings. I think there's going to be more and more integrative departments, integrative medicine departments in hospitals. And I think that the hospitals, the medical schools across the country are going to be starting to open up to taking an integrative approach, seeing the bodies as many systems working together, seeing as a symptom as a pr product of an imbalance of the systems working together. And a symptom can be very complex in its nature and how it developed, but it also can be very simple. And I think that it's going to be more cost effective to the consumer and to the healthcare mm -hmm. system if people are willing to take the responsibility, try a a few creative things on their own to see if they can relieve the symptom before they go into something as drastic as taking a drug which, like you said, has potential side effects and um, doesn't really heal the underlying cause. It just treats the problem, which, I mean, it just treats the symptom, which there can, sometimes there's a place for that, but other sure. times you know, a uh, symptom can be relieved so much easier by looking at all the complexities of the systems and helping the systems to work better together within the body. So I think that uh, we're going to see a shift in not only the education of physicians, but in the services offered by standard medical care. That's what we're hoping for anyways. I think that sounds like a wonderful shift. And I do see it, you know, gradually moving in that direction. In fact, I just saw um, a recent article that showed all these medical students meditating. And I thought, you know, a few years ago we would not have seen that. Right. So their minds are opening. Yeah, it's good. Well, thank you so much for being on our show. Oh, you're very welcome. It's always a pleasure. For more information on Cheryl, visit yourhealthpotential.com. And you can also contact her at 508-689-4633 or find Cheryl on Facebook. I'm your host, Jackie Bell. Thank you for joining us today. See you next time on Living Healthy.